Okay. Um, and I forgot to ask Bob this. Um, <laughs> could you introduce yourself, uh, your, your name and pronouns and, and what you do with the congregation? Okay. Well, my name is Kelly Ross. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I am the member and admin coordinator, which means that I help out in the office and I love to welcome new people to the church and help develop uh, members as well. And so what's a moment from the last year that for you represents what the year has been like? So uh, when we started last March, how we were recording these uh, the ser Sunday services was we would all join a Zoom call and then we would press record. And so essentially it was live for us. So if any, if there was any mistakes or anything, it just was in the service. So it was very real and very organic. And I was learning how to be the Zoom host for all of that and manage all the back end. So it would look good when we would um, premiere it on Sundays. Well, there is one Sunday where I hit the wrong button. And when the hymn was playing, usually all of us would kind of sit back, take a breather, get ready for like the next part. And I accidentally had all of our videos showing during a hymn. And so all of us looked just checked out because we were like mentally preparing for the next part of the video that would be recorded. And like some of us were just like kind of sleeping on our hands. Some of us were drinking coffee, you know, it, it was not going to fit in the service. So we had all recorded live. I finished, I was watching it back and I thought, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Like, I can't ask everyone to re-record this entire service. So in that moment, I thought I have to learn how to video edit and I have six hours before I need to put this on YouTube. And so I was like, how do you video edit with iMovie, typing that into Google and like watching YouTube and figuring out how to cut that piece out. And that is what started us being able to provide more streamlined services. Um, the content has, hopefully everyone has seen that the quality has gone up um, and it was all from that moment. And that kind of describes the year to me where, where things happen and we think, oh no, I don't know how to do this, but I have to learn how to do this right now to make this work. And that's what the whole year has been like. So we've all grown, but there have been some pain points there. <laughs> yes, indeed. Um, so speaking of pain points, I think I remember that moment. I think I remember that. I think I was having some coffee. Um, but speaking of pain points, what is one place you feel like we've fallen short as a congregation in the last year? Sure. So I think we've all felt the barrier that technology can be. So when we went virtual so suddenly, it was very alienating to a lot of people who um, were comfortable doing things in person. And so I wish, like if we could do it again, I wish we would have had opportunities to do in-person trainings, which would have been very last minute and, you know, um, probably not really well put together, but I wish we could have had that in-person training. This is how you get on Zoom before I had to start recording videos and hope that people could access those, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was at the church, um, Yesterday, I was down in the archives for the first time in forever. Um, and I found like on the ground, one of the one page printouts we made that last oh week we were in the building of like, how do you get on Zoom? Yeah. Um, and it's got a screenshot. I, I think I'm in a different room. I wasn't over here yet. And yeah. yeah. Weird. <laughs> um. So what's a, what's a success that we've had in the last year? So on the other side of that coin, I applaud every single member and friend of the church who connected with us online in any way, even once this past year, uh, because there was a huge learning curve for all of us. And I think taking the chance and the time to figure it out, to connect in a way that might not fully satisfy 
um, what you're looking for. It takes a lot of optimism. It takes a lot of hope. It takes a lot of faith. And I think all of us as staff saw that even if you logged on once and it, it meant a lot. And so I think how all of us really uh, stuck together and dug down deep in order to figure out how to survive through this past year. That's a success right there. For sure. Mm -hmm. And so as we, as we start to transition from whatever this year was to whatever comes next, um, what opportunities do you see emerging from, from this time? Well, we have been in a virtual age for a long time, even pre-pandemic. And so I think this really forced everyone to figure out how that works and what it looks like. And ultimately, even when we are back in person again, everything we've learned over this past year is going to make us a more inclusive community because now we're able to offer things online and virtually for folks who may be um, don't have access to transportation or maybe have certain disabilities that make it really difficult for them to meet in person. And so I think that's an opportunity that we should continue to provide even after we meet in person. I got a piece of feedback yesterday from somebody who really likes our YouTube videos because mm -hmm. YouTube auto generates closed captions. Yeah. And that exactly makes it easier for her to access worship than it was in person. Right, that's a great example. Anything else that we wanna include as part of this conversation? I don't think so. No bloopers or anything. <laughs> yeah, um, not this time. I'm looking forward to that. To the, to the blooper reel. I think I only have one to contribute. Oh. Um, not saying I've only had a blooper moment once, but I've only managed to remember to save it once, so. Yeah, there was, there was one for the ages last night during Vespers, because the, the battery on my camera went out right as I put people into breakout rooms. So I'd like opened the breakout rooms and said, all right, I'm gonna fix my camera. And then I stood up and somehow caught my finger between the desk and my leg. And so I managed to like dive for the mute button. And so I, I like crash off of video and audio right in time to say lots of unworshipful things right into the, <laughs> and then unmute myself for just a second to be like, hey, Chelsea, can you manage the breakout rooms? I need to go see what happened. So- Do you have a bandage on your finger? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so it was serious, ugh. Yeah, so it's it's gonna be really, um, if I come out of this with an actual like scar from online <laughs> Zoom worship from the COVID era, I'm, sometimes the metaphor is not a metaphor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really shows you're in the trenches, you know. <laughs> yeah, but that one didn't actually, that one just was me suddenly disappearing off camera for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Well, thanks so much for your time. Um, yeah. I really, I really appreciate it. And in case we don't say it enough, I really appreciate everything that that you've done over the last year. It's just, um, especially with the video stuff. I don't know what we would have done. So yeah, there was there were six hours in March where I was like, <laughs> I kept thinking, I should just text Oscar, and then I'm like. No, you're not gonna text Oscar because then he's gonna be like, what the hell? I have to do this again. Don't text Oscar, just fix it. Just fix it and then and then just send it to Oscar and then say there was a problem, but I fixed it, right? Because that's what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to just like be helpless and say, I messed up, fix my mistake. So yeah, but I was freaking out. I had Ty in here. I'm like, Google how to do this. Google how to do this, you know? And it's so funny because looking back, it was such an easy fix. Right. Like so it was just cutting the frame. Like it was so incredibly easy, but because I didn't know how to do it, it felt like a catastrophe, <laughs> total catastrophe.
<laughs> so, I mean, that's another metaphor. It was but... probably, yeah, it's probably a metaphor there. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. stop the recording. Okay. <laughs> All right.